Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we got no problems, right? We're learning today about seismic waves. We've been learning about earthquakes. This is the uh, picture of the great uh, San Francisco earthquake. 1909, I believe, was the date. Crazy things happened in that earthquake. And uh, some bad things. A lot of people died, etc. So let's talk to you about the idea of seismology. So scientists have now have begun to study earthquakes, and they're called seismologists. And seismology ultimately is the study of seismic waves. And this graph, this chart, whatever you want to call it, measures seismic waves. I'm going to talk more about how to like read that. We're going to actually read it in class. And the way we measure an earthquake is using something called a seismometer. So this is a seismometer, and it's a little hard to see, but if you look carefully right here, there's a needle with some ink on it, for lack of a better term. And as the ground shakes, this guy goes back and forth and shakes. And then this wheel of paper turns. It's now done digitally, of course, but this is kind of the old school model. And what happens is as the ground shakes, it shakes and it moves the needle. And the more the ground shakes, the more the needle moves, et cetera, et cetera. And they have seismometers all over the world and they're measuring and waiting for the ground to shake. And it turns out it shakes all the time. There's earthquakes happening, I'm sure, as I speak right now, as you're watching this. Uh, most of them are small, minor earthquakes. But of course, the ones that get the press are the ones that are big earthquakes. And we'll talk about magnitude and how big they are. Now, when we talk about seismic waves, turns out there are three types and two subtypes. There are P waves, S waves, surface waves, and there are two types of surface waves, love waves, <laughs> and Raleigh waves. Actually, it's ray. There's a missing Y. ray -lay. Waves. Love waves, by the way, and Rayleigh waves are named after different seismologists. Some Mr. Love and Mr. They have both be Mr. Mr. and Mr. Le Love and Mr. Rayleigh. So let's talk about P waves. P waves are what we call primary waves. P stands for primary. P primary. So let's make some notes here. They're compressional. They are the fastest of all waves. There's four types of waves, right? They are the fastest, the ones that go the fastest. And they can move through both rock plus liquid. This is important later. They can move through rock and liquid. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So you kind of see it's compressional. So it compresses the ground, and it, 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 does it make sense as it sort of pushes on it. And let me go back and see if you can see it. See, boom, push, and it compresses it. That's the direction of propagation, as you can see, is in this direction. So that's what a P wave looks like. So that's P wave. Let's jump and talk about an S wave. Now an S wave, S stands for secondary, and here's the line of the S wave. Only through rock. It can't go through a liquid, so if it hits a liquid, it stops. All right, obviously it's in its uh, uh, second fastest, we'll say. And it moves, let's say, side to side. Now the direction of the propagation is this way, but what you're going to see when you see the little animation here in a second, watch how it moves. See how it goes side to side, kind of up and down, I guess, a little bit. Let's watch that. And it creates the sort of a wavy thing. But it's usually starting deeper in, the, it's, think of it like a, a rope, I guess. If you ever play like ropes upstairs in the, in the uh, training center, uh, it has that kind of a look to it, doesn't it? Boom. So that's what the S wave looks like. And then there's the surface waves. Now remember the surface waves, there's two kinds. There's the love waves and the Rayleigh waves. Now the surface waves are, uh, I'm not, I'm sure you're probably surprised, they're on the surface. So there's not much to know except they're on the surface. And the love waves, um, what they do, well let's just take a look at what the image looks like. You see how they're going side to side, if you will? So if we go back here, they're moving back and forth this way and this way, right? So, and then watch what happens when it moves across, side to side. Does that make sense as you're seeing that? You're still going to see this. Here you go. See that? Let's watch it again. Maybe. There we go. Side to side. Boom. And then it creates these surface waves. Now it turns out the surface waves, you want to jot this down. I'll just go back here. The surface waves 
both the two types, the Raleigh and the Love Waves, uh, cause the most damage in terms of buildings, people, and everything. So the surface waves are the, are the worst of them all from a damage perspective. All right, now let's look at the Raleigh waves, or Rayleigh waves, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Watch what happens. See, it kind of is up and down, but it's really kind of big time. And actually, the Rayleigh waves are the worst ball game of them all. This is the ones that's going to cause the most damage to everything that we see. These are the Rayleigh waves. All right. So again, four types of waves when we talk about seismographs and, and seismology. And we can measure these things um, using uh, seismographs. And the, the, the data we get back, let me throw this back up, we get things that look like this. And this is what the, the paper thing looks like that we just talked about. And we can measure, uh, like obviously it's a bigger wave if it's taller here. And also we can measure when the S wave happens and the P wave. And we're going to show that to you in a few minutes. So seismic waves, not so hard. Because Houston, we don't got a problem because you're awesome.